can't hear you. Are we ready? Are we ready to fight the electrons? I can't hear you. Are we ready to fight? Are we ready to fight unions? Are we ready to fight? Must 
more must die? How many more must die? How many more must die? Who's city? Who's city? Are we ready to fight for safety? Are we going to fight for safety? Are we going to fight for dignity? Are we ready to fight for respect? How many more must die? How many more must die? Louder, how many more must die? How many more must die? How many more must die? Louder, how many more must die? How many more must die? How many more must die? Louder! 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 Let them hear you! Let them hear you! Let them hear you! Let them hear you! I can't hear you! Louder! How many more must die? 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 Louder! 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 Make some noise! Make some noise! Who's city? Who's city? Who's city? Who's city? Who's city? All right, brothers and sisters. Now, the president of the building trance, Mr. Gary Lababa. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. First, I want to thank you all for coming. I want to tell you why we're here again and why we'll keep coming here again and again. Last year alone, in the construction industry, 16 workers died. 14 of those workers were on non-union job sites. These workers receive no training. These workers receive low wages. These workers receive no benefits. These workers receive no retirement security. These are exploited workers. And the result of this exploitation is their deaths. Now why are we here today? We're here today because in this building is the Maclo organization who has a project known as One Wall Street. And you all know what's going on there. They have hired Gil Bain as the construction manager who is intending on hiring irresponsible subcontractors and expects all members to work along with untrained, exploited workers. And I say, no! I say that every worker deserves to be in an apprentice program and go to work and come home at the end of the day. But instead of that, a developer like Maclo wants to put his profits before people. Now let me tell you, that is incomprehensible and immoral. You cannot put a price on any life. We in the building trades have had it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We need to send a clear message, not only to the contractors, but to the developers as well. Because you know why? Because they are responsible. They are responsible when they hire contractors who hire irresponsible subcontractors whose workers get killed and whom they want our trained, skilled 
tradesmen and women to work with in unsafe conditions. No one is going to work in unsafe conditions. We will not allow that. And further, we are not going to continue to allow developers to put their light in their pockets before our lives. We are, and you are, the most highly skilled tradesmen and women in the United States. You have all gone through years of apprentice training. And you, you have built this city. You have built this city for the last hundred years. And we will continue to build this city for the next hundred years. No matter how greedy a developer wants to be, we are not, not going to go away. We are going to stand up for the principles in which we believe in. And that is union jobs, apprentice programs, middle class wages, health benefits for our families, and retirement security. We build the buildings that they profit. And instead of respecting us and respecting the quality of our work, they want to chip away at what we built. And we are not going to sit quiet. We will not be silent. We will continue to bring it right to their fucking doorstep. Now, brothers and sisters, I don't want you to just listen to me about what it's like to be a worker that's exploited every day. You're going to hear from some workers momentarily that have walked off non-union job sites and are now proud union members. So at this time, to introduce our first speaker, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. James Mahoney, President of the New York State Iron Workers District Council and Knight General Vice President of the Iron Workers International Union. Jim. I usually open this up by asking, how are we doing out there today? But I'm gonna tell you, I know how I'm doing. I'm goddamn pissed off. How about you? Yeah. Look at where we're standing. In the richest city in the world. In the shadow of the Plaza Hotel. By the old General Motors building that was built on the backs of blue collar workers. Yeah. Underneath Bergdorf Goodman and Tiffany's and Ferragamo's. We're in a billionaire's playground. Do we want billions? No! We want to make a decent living. Yeah. We want to be paid for what we do. Yeah. We want the workplace to be safe so we can go home to our children and our families. Yeah. Gil Bain doesn't want you to have that peace of mind. Are we going to stand up to Gil Bain? Yeah. Are we going to fight? Gil Bain. Yeah. Are we gonna beat Gil Bain yeah. and what war? We're out there fighting every day, and you are the backbone of the building trades, the guys who are here today. I'm gonna tell you, there are workers working right now. They don't have a contract. They don't have health care. Right now, they're in danger. The next coffin that goes in this in this in this procession is going to be one of those workers that we don't want to see that happen. Today, the iron workers, along with the building trades, we organized, took a worker out of a non-union dangerous situation. And he's here to speak to you today. 
He's a skilled iron worker. He's somebody who knows what he's doing. But he didn't have the opportunities that some of us had. But now he does. And what we've done is we've taken him off a job where he had to wonder if he was going home every night. And now he has decided to fight with you to get more rights for all workers in this city. Let's give a loud welcome hand to our new building trades brother, Edgar Melendez. Good afternoon, Union. Good afternoon. My name is Edgar Joshua Melendez. Um, used to work for U.S. Crane and Riggin. I walked off today off a non-union construction site today to become a striker, and it's a beautiful thing right now. It definitely is. Thank you. Um, inside U.S. Crane, you know, I've seen a lot of a lot of unsafety things. I was, you know, exploded to things that you know I shouldn't have seen. Um, there's no training. There's no training. They don't care about you. Um, no benefits. You don't. At the end of the day, you don't get nothing. You know, you're lucky to go home if without an injury. Um, I'm just here today, you know, to to, to let to, to let the people know that we have to be heard. You know, we, we, we have to stand up and let these people know that we want to better ourselves. You know, I, I want to go home to my family. The same way I came to work, I want to go home to them. You know, with, with this company I was working, I, I wasn't getting nothing. You know, they were paying me shit. You know, I, I have three kids, have a $1,400 rent. I wasn't getting paid. I was getting paid. Um, I want, want, want a future. I want something better. I'm here for my kids. At the end of the day, um, I want to learn. I want, I want, the, I want safety. That's what I want. I want everybody else, even the non-union workers. You know, if they can hear me, you know, this is the way to go. Safety. You know, let, let, let's be heard. Let's do this. It's a big step for me right now. Um, Fuck you, <laughs> Fuck you, Fuck you, Fuck you but you know, um, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm happy. It's a big opportunity for me. Um, I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. And you guys, you guys are like brothers. You guys opened me up today with open arms, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let, you know, let's do the right thing. Let's let's work safe. Let's teach these other guys how to work safe. Let's get home to our family. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's hear it again for Edgar. You know, Edgar. Now you're part of a fraternal order known as the New York City Building Trades, and you have over 100,000 brothers and sisters! You are not one. You are one of many. Tens and tens of thousands. Now, in our fight, it's always important to get conscientious elected officials. And it's my pleasure to bring to the microphone now a good friend of the building trades, standing up for prevailing wages, standing up for apprenticeship training, standing up against powerful real estate interests for safe work sites. Please give a warm building trades welcome to council member Ben Kalos. Ben. How many more must die? 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 I'm Council Member Ben Kalos. I'm a labor lawyer and I'm here to represent you. I started off working for Local 79 and now I get to work for all of the building trades. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you to Gary LaBarber for your leadership and to all of the business managers and members who build this city. 
I got to work at protecting health and retirement, recovering millions of dollars from bad contractors. Bad contractors like Gil Bain, who shouldn't be doing any work in this city. They can't put profits over people because we should be putting people over profits. We need to make sure that every worker in New York City is getting training that they're getting experience on the job site, that they're able to retire at the end of a long career, that they have insurance for health and disability in case anything goes wrong on that job site, and a living wage with a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. But most importantly, you need a union to have your back so that when there's a dangerous situation, you can say no, and you've got a hundred thousand brothers and sisters who stand with you and keep you safe. Safe jobs now! 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 Thank you very much, Ben. We appreciate that. Now, brothers and sisters, I want you to hear from another member